two, one. Boosters in ignition. And liftoff of Artemis One. Massive and super loud, it is the most powerful rocket ever built. Now, finally, part way to the moon. For what we saw tonight, it's an A+. NASA's Bill Nelson underlines the Artemis One mission is only a test flight. It'll go around the moon and then home, but with no humans on board, just mannequins. Much delayed, with a price tag in the billions, it's a trial run, but a biggie. If all goes well, come 2024, Artemis Two. When our astronauts crawl on board and go back to the moon. And God willing, as we shall return, Indeed, it's been five decades since the last Apollo mission in 1972. At the time, few thought it would take so long for astronauts to return. But with this capsule now well on its way, that's the Earth behind it, the dream of sending people back looms ever closer. And that next historic flight will include a Canadian, possibly Jeremy Hansen. Yeah will be the second country in the world to send a human into deep space. It's pretty significant. Hansen told CBC News it's testament to Canada's continuing role in developing the tools for space travel. Because of the great Canadians that are working on these programs, we've been invited to fly a Canadian astronaut on Artemis II. It is a significant um, indication of where Canada is at and what our capability is. But for now, the focus is Artemis One. NASA calls it the next beginning, a giant leap toward sending people back to that place. After all, it's been a while. Paul Hunter, CBC News, Washington.